Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. Uh, it is Thursday morning. I'm heading over to my mom's house first in Georgetown, uh, and then over to my sister's house to talk to my brother-in-law about the raspberry pie setup to see if it's going to be awesome or not for me. Uh, right now, I'm gassing up. It's a dollar twelve nine here on the corner of Short Acres and Young Street. So, uh, yeah, it's got my water. I'm gonna try to eat the minimal amount of food, of bad food, and try to eat good food all day today. And tomorrow, Saturday, is gonna be a little bit of a challenge because it's a big party up at the cottage. So, are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, I'm all finished uh, visiting up with my mom. Uh, I just finished eating a uh, coconut macaroon. And it's made with like condensed milk and, and coconut uh, and some, some other stuff. And, and it actually tastes quite good if you like coconut. Um, it's all stuck in my teeth. Uh, she showed me her garden. She's been working on it for a while. It was awesome. I wish I, I should have shown you guys what the garden looked like. I apologize. And uh, Tinkerbell, my mom's schnauzer dog, would love to have said hello to you guys. You've seen you've seen the schnauzer in a few other videos. Tinkerbell. Anyway, off to my sisters. All right, guys. I'm at my sisters and brother-in-laws. This is uh, Randall. Say hi, Randall. Hi, Randall. <laughs> See, he's funny. Uh, so we're just having our subs first. Then he's going to show me uh, the new. It's the Raspberry Pi Two. Yeah, and with uh, software on it. Open away. Right. Open what? Open elect. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm getting him to do it for me. Because I have no idea what he's talking about. We're going to eat and then we'll go upstairs. Check out the stuff. All right, guys, we're upstairs with the Raspberry Pi and Randall's going to show us uh, how to hook it up and why you'd want to use this um, over a cable box. Because that's basically what you said this is now. Yeah. It's it's a computer, which a cable box basically already is a computer. Right. But this is handles it really well and can access the internet and stuff like that. So it's got an HDMI on one side, um, a power, and then it's got your ethernet cable and four USB things to hook up wireless. Peripherals, basically this is just a, a small computer. Uh, it's aimed at uh, doing basically a set a number of functions, but it doesn't really, really well. For its size, it's very powerful. Um, what this really does is replace a cable or satellite box. Right. So, uh, but you need, uh, so not not dial up, <laughs> right? Right. This this works best with high speed internet. High speed internet. And you really got to have that. You got to have a good, solid, uh, strong, stable internet connection. Right. Ideally, with a high data cap, or uh, now very common is the unlimited. Okay. Um, I've got unlimited. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, what you have to remember is because you're now not just getting all of your normal stuff off the internet with regards to information, entertainment stuff. Now, if you are replacing a cable box or something, all of that information, all of that data, all those files, they're all coming across in the same thing. So you want to make sure that's beefed up a bit. And that's where you can get, you pay for it by getting rid of all the excess stuff that you've been paying right. for every month. That you don't need. So you, so you still pay for your internet cable, <laughs> but you, you can cut your television right off and this would replace it. Uh, so one of the other things uh, uh, Randall was telling me about this is if you love movies and you love television and you want to stream all that stuff, this is where you want to go. But if you love sports and you're a very avid sports fan, if you just I got to see the Red Sox games. I got to see the Blue Jays games. I got to see the Celtics games. Stuff. This system, this environment of the of the internet that that draws all this information, sports is a mishmash. There's tons of sports on. If yeah. you're one of those sports fans who I don't care what it is I want to watch, I just want to watch good sports, and it's from all over the then world. This is good. It's awesome. Oh, okay. But to know exactly where the next Blue Jays game, or the next Red Sox game, or the next Celtics game, right. or the next Penguins game whatever you, the sport is, it's on there somewhere, but it's all over the place. It's not as well You'll organized spend, as... Spend too much time looking, looking for it. Spend yeah. a ton of time. So yeah. stick with your cable in that situation. In that case, uh, and I just I just had a customer yesterday, 
same thing. They, he and his daughter love sports, and it's got to be specifically Red Sox, Penguins, Celtics, yeah. that sort of thing. So I said, take all the extras off of your cable television services. Get the very basic. Keep your sports package. It was like costing him 13 bucks. He gets a oh, okay. great thing. But all the money you save on getting the overs and aboves and extras and movie channels and like all those extra channels and it never seems to be the right one, save that. Yeah. You know, your typical uh, cable satellite provider, their minimum package is around 40 bucks. By March of next year, that goes down to $25, mandated yeah. by the CRTC nice. in Canada. Uh, so you're going to have a minimum package now of $25 plus any, say, sports add-ons you have. You've covered everything. You've covered your local news and all that stuff. But for your television shows and your movies, that's where to go. That's where to go. So let's hook it up. First thing we want to do is we're going to plug in the feed to the television, HDMI, feed from the internet. Now, these things do have a Wi Fi dongle. Wait a sec. And this can make it wireless. And each one of these comes with one. Okay. Uh, in case you are not in a position where you can do a feed, and it just goes into any one of the four. Okay, USB so if you don't have um, uh, an Ethernet cable running to the room that you have your television and stuff in, right. you can use this, and that's you your can. that's your Wi-Fi. As long as you got a strong signal. Strong of course, signal. One of the services I'm doing here as well is is helping people uh, maybe get a better signal, uh, finding other ways to supply uh, a signal, but that's something that uh, is you know on a case to case basis. So okay. Ethernet in, that's in. Now one of the best ways to control this is with a, uh, a wireless keyboard. Okay. It's not for everybody, and I'll show you some of the pros and uh, swings and roundabouts with that. But, but, but as many, most people know, uh, especially with, I guess, video games, if you want to enter something in, you got to like, you know, yeah. mouse over left, 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 left to get to a letter, and then down, 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 down to get to the next letter, exactly. and then you got a space and you make a mistake. So this, I, I think I would go for the keyboard yeah. thing to search for stuff. Yeah. For sure. Now, I wouldn't just normally leave it out like this by the television, but it's just just for demonstration okay. purposes. This thing uh, doesn't require line of sight like a like a typical cable box where you're aiming your remote at. Right. It. So what I quite often do is I just hide it back behind the TV as long as it's not by a heating vent or something right. like that because it's a computer. You don't want it hot. Yeah. Right. But for time being, we'll just leave it here so people can see it. Do we need power? And then the power. Power goes in. Again, we're just leaving this out, guys, just to show you but again you can hide it which is great you don't have these wires all over the place yeah so all right on. okay nice as you can see on the screen it immediately fires up so that's our startup screen raspberry and for my customers i already have this set up so the the, the program open elect open source embedded linux entertainment center nice Okay, let her rip. Okay, so... So th th this is how it would look if I bought one right now? Yeah. Okay. Because okay. you said you, you downloaded a whole bunch of backgrounds, I, I've but these are the ones I've you've already installed. set up. The, I've already set up backgrounds. I've already set up the what's called add-ons, or if you will, apps. So this is all set up. This is out of the box. Once you get to this stage, the only thing, the only two things really that should need to be done is one, confirming a connection to your internet. Okay. And two, uh, because all TVs are different, it might need, and that's might need, to be uh, calibrated for your screen. Oh, okay. And there's a very easy process to do that. Sure. And uh, we'll have directions and stuff for people who want to do it on their own, or again, quite often I'd be doing the installation and I would just do it for them. And you also talked about the remote control. It has, has to be, uh, what did you call it, CE? Uh, okay, so the remote control, is uh, most newer televisions have a what's called a CEC function. And CEC stands for Consumer Electronic Control. Okay, so some TVs have it, some don't. Yeah, most newer ones do, not every last single one. Right. And th what that basically means is that you can now use your original television remote. So in a lot of cases it's good for people, it's another remote that's not hanging around on the coffee table, right? Right. And how that works is it uh, transmits a signal from your television remote. It's picked up on the normal receiver on your on your television. 
the signal passes through the HDMI cable back to the source, in this case the Raspberry Pi, Got it. then back to the to the TV and that's where the controls are, are working. Awesome. So in this case, I know, because I've, I've tested this one, <laughs> okay. that the, as you can see, I'm using the um, the basic navigation buttons. Right, So to move left, right, up, down. To move left and right. And this moves all of the functions. So weather, music. YouTube, never YouTube. heard of it. What's that? Uh, media. Uh, apps if you wanted to add additional things and back to back to what well, would you add in apps it's not a curiosity well, there's always there's always new and, and different uh, applications out there for um, uh, different ways of accessing media um, I have the top half dozen or so already loaded on here so and basically if you're looking for something you can't find it here try it somewhere else if you're looking for this and you can't find it here here try somewhere else I've given you those somewhere else as always Okay. Sometimes, you know, people say, ah, it's a kind of a pain. I got to look this, I got to look that. But, you know, you think about your typical half hour television show, 19 and a half minutes, that's how much entertainment you get. The other 10 minutes. Commercials. Commercials. Right. So in a fraction of the time you'd spend watching commercials, just on one half hour show, you can find pretty much content from all around the world. Like last, last week when I was here, I said, you know, you're saying, well, what's your favorite channel? I was like, uh, Discovery. And he's like, but what's your favorite show on Discovery? And I said, well, Shark Week and Mythbusters. And so he uh, pu punched in uh, Shark Week and it came up with like the last seven years yeah, of uh, Shark work, uh, Shark Weeks, which was awesome. And then of course you just have to search for the one that you want. Uh, that's gonna be like the highest resolution one and kind of pay attention to the, what's the, what's the, the I guess the person who is streaming it uh, or a company that's streaming it pay attention to their um i guess their name because the next time you go to watch something look for that name because you know that they get up put out proper uh and good quality uh hdm typically. yeah <laughs> typically sometimes i guess they could waver weather so uh I, i've already set it to our area and there's the weather and it gives you a little overview you can see what's going on coming up nice yeah um that music uh, just like uh, television shows just like movies uh, the internet is just loaded with sources free sources right for for music in this particular case I've preloaded uh, three examples here so um, 181 FM uh, anyone who's at, or, you know, looked at internet uh, music sources and stuff oh and nice all. and this stuff comes up almost always regardless of what it is you're looking for will come up with some sort of organization with categories, what have you, and it's just a matter of selecting whatever you want, and then in this case, even selecting, getting even a better uh, selection. 80s hair band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't great. know about that anymore, do we? No. Nice. And I, I've put on three different uh, suppliers or, or, or or access points for this and, and they're all set up a little bit differently this one looks very similar but it's got a, a different selection again so if somebody uh, phoned you up and wanted one of these raspberries could, could they recommend or could they um, ask you to install some stuff on it before they get it, and that way they don't have to do it oh I, I have this all pre set up to start with no I'm saying like if somebody said uh, I want one of the main things I really really want is a certain radio station you could actually have it programmed in for them so if that when they got their raspberry pi it would be already there it's hard to find specific radio stations or just music whatever because it's very much like the television thing stop looking for the channels start looking for the content right in that case that said uh, like uh, rock or 80s uh um, hair bands or stuff right there are sources that are playing just that content oh uh, okay got it so in some cases we would be able to find some radio station the 181 fm so okay, our, our, our internet free oh, okay, radio got it. and stuff it's hard to to customize this if they if they had if they knew what they were looking for and there was a way of doing it yeah i could certainly customize for sure. it for okay, them good. if there was a specific backgrounds that they wanted to see again i could customize right them. that's that's easily done sure and you get most a lot of your information that i'm probably asking on your website yeah okay absolutely all right what's next so uh youtube i i you don't want to see youtube yeah no, nobody watches youtube no, 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 no. 
media. Oh wait, go back to YouTube for a second. Oh, okay. You, uh, you can actually set up the your favorite YouTubers along the bottom, like yes. KBD Productions TV, and then Ken's Logs right here, and you can have them already there, so you can go to it really quick. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's next? Uh, media. Okay, so this is the meat and potatoes of it. This uh, and these are the ones again. I'm saying at the bottom. You can see okay. that show. These are the uh, main uh, um, venues, the main apps okay. to, to get most of your content. Uh, some of them have uh, some strengths and some weaknesses. Some aren't as good for maybe television shows, but have uh, more diverse uh, selections or sources for movies. Uh, this one, IPTV Soccer, I like um, not because it's great for television shows and stuff, but it seems to get quite a bit of the British actual television stations nice yeah um the phoenix one i'm still uh, experimenting with this too and again it has a selection of some uh television show uh, television channels rather and uh, interesting selections of content um my wife and i we we use these three the most i would say because they seem to be the most for first of all uh, anyone who's in the know of, of streaming stuff has probably heard of genesis or one channel or also called prime wire um, yeah, so, so let's, it'd be Genesis, that would be a, a good starting point. So, yeah, we were looking last week, you mentioned about uh, Shark, week. Shark Week. So what we have to stop doing is we have to stop thinking about the channel. Right. And start thinking about the actual content. I, I like Game of Thrones. So the first thought is, oh, well, I have to get HBO. You don't want HBO, you want Game of Thrones. You right. You don't want AMC, you want Mad Men. Got it. All right. So we go straight to search and television show. And you can see these are all categorized really quite well. And here's where the, <laughs> this is where really the comes in super handy. awesome keyboard comes in handy. Yeah. Shark, was it Shark Week? Yeah. Shark Week. <clears throat> and there it is. And it's up. Nice. Never miss an episode again. And all the way back to 1988. Yeah. So. There's a number of selections there. Just a few. And it's just a matter of selecting whatever, whichever one you're looking for. And then it's just a matter of selecting the particular um, episode. Does the box on the right work for the check mark or anything or? Uh, what that, yeah, what that box will do is it will leave a check mark after you've watched it. For sure, from beginning to end. So this is, this is one of the things that Carol likes about um, our Apple TV, or no, not Apple TV, um, Netflix. Okay. Uh, when you finish watching it, it's it's like highlighted, showing you that you've already watched it. So a tick mark will come here, I guess, yes. if you've okay. watched that episode, which is amazing. That way, you know you've seen that, because uh, I was thinking you'd have to like uh, go on. You uh, have like a log book beside you with a pen and paper, uh, but you don't because it's got the check mark, which is one of my number one questions. Because I'd hate to try to figure out what I have and have not watched. Right. So, um, let's just back out of this for a second, because we've seen this one already. Can you come up with a, a television show? Uh, Big Bang Theory. Okay, so, TV shows. Who likes the Big Bang Theory? Leave a comment in the comment section below. That's awesome. Drop to season eight, oh, I think. Yeah, eight. It's hard to believe it's been on for eight seasons. Yeah. I, uh, I prefer Kelly with uh, long hair over the short hair. <laughs> long hair, short hair. No, it's wrong. <laughs> anyway. And then the same thing. Now, when you're actually going for content, so we would select uh, the season. Okay. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go season seven. I think I hit it now. Okay, so yeah, seven. So then you just grab whatever episode you want. And as you can see, there's a full description, of just as you would. That's awesome episode, news. Right? So if I select that one, what it does is it goes to the internet. It starts looking for streams and tries to find the best one it can. Right. And then you just. So this, this, these, whoops, sorry. I think there is the, the names of the 
streamers, uh, again, streaming pay, sources. Yeah. Streaming sources. Just make sure you remember uh, which one you picked, because if it's a good one, then next time you go to watch another episode, look for the same uh, streamer. I've never seen you play. Oh, nice. Really we played once. I broke a window. That's one. That quality of that one isn't that great. But yeah. there'll, be, there'll be other ones. Later. But if you don't care about the quality as much, then oh, yeah. then don't don't go. No, no, don't, don't go there. Don't go. Don't go there because you know what? What? If you're not happy with the quality, there's tons of sources. I was just I just happened to notice quickly going through that for some reason on this particular show, all the sources look to be DVD quality. Well, that's oh that's not good. That's we good. we want we want uh, higher quality. We want higher quality. We want a higher thing here. So where, how would you look for the higher quality one? Well, then what I would do is I would get out of this. One of the things I like about Genesis or One Channel, One Channel has some diversity to it, a little more diversity in some things. Uh, Genesis, I find, uh, seems to have access to better streams. So you'd find yourself going to Genesis more than One Channel? At times. It depends on what I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so okay, I'm gonna try that again. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's probably not the episode I was up before, but I think a random one. <clears throat> so again, it's it's searching the internet, it's looking for sources, it's compiling. What you uh, do on your computer if you watch shows off your computer? Exactly. Now, and you can see these ones are actually specifically marked as opposed to the DVD quality. These are marked in HD quality. Right. And if we go down far enough, you can see where it starts saying MQ medium quality. And if we keep going down, you can see where it says LQ. Uh, low Loser quality. quality. Loser quality. <laughs> but you know, if you were just watching this on a small device, oh, then that fine. would probably look just fine. Right. Yeah. So uh, let's go back to... Well, it's good that it puts it in order. Yeah. And the best way to do it, start from the top, work your way down, and like you said, Ken, it's like you get to, you get to recognize some of the, some of the f supplier feeds, uh, mm -hmm. and which ones are predominantly more reliable. So I'll just hit the first one. No stream. Okay, well, no problem. And this is, and this is something I'll run into. Uh, as you saw, we had a lot of streams to work with. Usually by the third or fourth. Or fifth. And a fourth one. That was a charm. No, that was the joke. And we had to look. We had to spend 20, 30 seconds. What we didn't have to do is spend 15 minutes watching commercials. Right. And you can see that quality is a bit better. For sure. What do you do? I say, hey, Ma, what's for dinner? So guys, if you're interested in checking out uh, Randall's website and you're interested in streaming uh, movies and television uh, to your television set, give his website a check uh, and yeah, you can purchase them online. If you're in basically, basically anywhere in Southern Ontario uh, and you want to purchase one of these things, you can just call him up and he'll out and come up to your house, set it all up. Um, but you have to check the website to find out all that information, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I'd like to thank Randall for showing me his uh, Raspberry Pi and streaming setup because I definitely want to have this hooked up in my own house. So thank you very much. All right. And uh, all the links and stuff will be in the description below. And once again, thanks, Randall, for showing me. Thanks for having me. And showing you guys. Take care, guys. So I'm going to be ending off the vlog now. Uh, just before I left, or just as I was leaving Randall's place, I was thinking, you know what? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Not a really good time to be leaving Georgetown to try and get home and, and rush hour traffic. So I uh, phoned Carol and Carol's like, yeah, to stay there. And I said, oh, I'm gonna take my mom out to, to dinner. And uh, so I went over to my mom's house, sat with her for a bit, said, what are you doing? Let's go for dinner. And uh, then I'm thinking, you know, whenever I'm in Georgetown, my aunt and uncle Ross, uh, my aunt, sorry, my aunt and uncle, uh, Ross and Susan, they uh, always say, oh, you were in town, why don't you come by and say hi? So, so I picked my mom up, went over to my aunt and uncle's house, uh, picked them up, took them all over to uh, a really nice Thai restaurant in town, downtown Georgetown, treated them all to dinner, and uh, just dropped them off right now. I had a uh, peanut, curry with seafood and
coconut rice. Oh my goodness. It was definitely, I would recommend. It was very good. You know what? I'm gonna actually bump that up. Yeah, so go out and get it now. Or in b between that. It's between a go out and get it now and a would recommend. That's a good spot for that, for that dinner. Um, if you're in Georgetown, I can't remember the name of the Thai restaurant off the top of my head. Uh, I can't remember what side of the street it's on. Anyway, it's a nice restaurant, quite big. It's been around forever. Uh, I've been there a few times. So there you go. All right, guys, I am going to shut off the camera, drive home, relax, kick back, watch a movie, say hi to the wife and the kids, say hi to the cats, dog, fish, snake, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll do uh, happy birthday shout outs. And we're back. So it turns out Ben is working till one o'clock. Carol just happens to be in Newmarket and she's like, well, let's go to a movie and then we can pick him up on the way home. And that's like, what a great idea. And she was like, I know. And so we're going to the movies. I'm not sure what we're gonna see. Uh, either Trainwreck, Terminator. Uh, there's another one that I wanted to see and I can't think of it off the top of my head but I'll let you know in just a minute. I just pulled off the highway and I'm now onto Green Lane and I will see you at the movie theater. Bonus! All right guys, the movie is over. The movie was a definite would recommend. It was very funny. Uh, Amy Schur? Schooner? Schumer? Uh, she is, does an amazing job of this movie. Uh, I really liked Bill. He was very good on his role. LeBron James did a really good job. Uh, sometimes sports people in movies don't do very well, but LeBron James did an awesome job. He was very funny. Um, again, I totally give it a recommend. Go check it out. And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs for Friday, July 17th. It is Chance, uh, Sean, Josh, Isra. I've never known anybody named Isra, that's cool. And Dylan. So happy birthday to you guys on this awesome Friday. Well, it's not that awesome here. It's raining and crappy, but hopefully where you live, it's nice and awesome. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you ate for dinner, whether you ate in or ate out. Have a great weekend, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.